That day when evening came, he said to his disciples, let us go over to the other side. Leaving the crowd behind, they took him along just as he was in the boat. There were also other boats with him. A furious squall came up and the waves broke over the boat so that it was nearly swamped. Jesus was in the stern, sleeping on a cushion. The disciples woke him and said to him, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? He got up, rebuked the wind, and said to the waves, Quiet, be still. Then the wind died down, and it was completely calm. He said to his disciples, Why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? They were terrified and asked each other, Who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. Waves broke over the boat so that it was nearly swamped. This story is a very, very familiar story to us, isn't it? Um, and I love it because it's our story. It's Jesus' story, but it's also our story. And it's perhaps been our story for the last year and a half. Um, the storms of life as we've lived through lockdown haven't been easy to bear, have they? Um, and right now, I, I am sensing and others are sensing um, it, it, that there's a lot of anxiety around. Um particularly in our churches. Are people going to come back? Are we going to get the volunteers? Um, a lot of anger around as well. And, and we sense that in this story even. Don't you care? Don't you care? And perhaps we've been thinking the same thing. Don't you care, Lord? And yet, where do we find Jesus? We find Jesus asleep in the boat. Just a some simple thoughts as the, at the beginning of our time together because some of you will be feeling anxious and concerned um, just a reminder that Jesus is in the boat with us he's not somewhere <laughs> just somewhere else he's with us in our situation um, and the sleeping Jesus it's interesting isn't it he he is what Jeff would call a non-anxious presence he is in that context, a non-anxious presence. And while all our concerns might be about, our, many of our concerns about our, perhaps our family or our church or whatever, still Jesus is that non-anxious presence in our context. And he speaks peace to the storm. Quiet, be still. And if we are to be attentive to rhythms of grace today, it might do us well to notice that Jesus is with us in our boats, that he is not anxious and that he longs to speak quiet and stillness into our situation. We're going to hear um, a, a couple of stories from two of our ministers um, who are uh, Amanda and uh, Charmaine and they're going to tell us what it's like being uh, uh, being attentive to rhythms of grace in their context.